William Condon Drongen is the father of diagnostic radiology. He was born at the Lenem in the Lower Rhine province of Germany in March 27, 1845. His father's name was Frederick C. Rongen, a German merchant and cloth manufacturer. And mother's name was Charlotte Constance Provin, was Dutch. When he was three years old, his family moved to Appledon in the Netherlands, where he went to the Institute of Martinus Hermann von Dorn, a boarding school. In 1862, he entered a technical school at Utrecht. He was good at building mechanical objects. He then entered the University of Utrecht in 1865 to study physics. He attended the lectures given by Clausius and also worked in the laboratory of Kunt. Both Kant and Clausius exerted great influence on his development. In 1869, he graduated PhD in Mechanical Engineering at the University of Zurich. He was appointed assistant to Kant and went with him to Würzburg in the same year and three years later to Strasbourg. Rongen was married to Anna Bertha Ludwig. In 1866, they met in Zurich at Anna's father's cafe. They got engaged in 1869 and wed in Appledon in Netherlands on July 7, 1872. It was delayed due to Anna being six years Wilhelm senior and his father not approving of her age or humble background. Their marriage began with financial difficulties as family support from Ronjin had ceased. They had no children but they adopted one child, Josephine Bertha Ludwig, whom they adopted at age six after her father. Anna's only brother died in 1887. In 1874, he was appointed as a lecturer at Strasbourg University and in 1875 served as a professor in the Academy of Agriculture at Ohenheim in Württemberg. In 1876, he returned to Strasbourg as professor of physics. Three years later, he accepted the invitation to the chair of physics in the University of Giessen. In 1888, he obtained the same position at the University of Würzburg and in 1900 at the University of Munich. Even though he accepted an appointment at Columbia University in New York City, but due to the occurrence of World War I, Rongen changed his plans and remained in Munich for the rest of his career. For decades, he had been studying the effects of electrical charge on the response and appearance of vacuum tubes. He conducted a series of experiments in 1895 in which he connected a type of vacuum tube called a Hitov-Crookes tube to an early and very powerful electrostatic charge generator known as a Rumkoff coil, similar to what sparks a car motor to start. He was trying to reproduce a fluorescent effect observed with another type of vacuum tube called a Lennart tube. The filament inside produced a stream of electrons which was well known called a cathode ray. To his surprise, this produced fluorescence on a screen coated with a compound called barium platinocyanide several feet away. This suggested to him that a hitherto unknown and entirely invisible effect was being produced. He also discovered that when his hand passed between the electrically charged vacuum tube and the barium platinocyanide coated screen, he saw his bones. After his discovery, he took the very first picture a radiograph using x-rays of his wife, Anna Bertha's hand. When she saw her skeleton, she exclaimed, I have seen my death. Ronjan's original paper on a new kind of race was published on 28 December 1895. On 5th January 1896, an Austrian newspaper reported Ronjan's discovery of a new type of radiation. Ronjin was awarded an honorary Doctor of Medicine degree from the University of Würzburg after his discovery. In 1901, Ronjin was awarded the first Nobel Prize in Physics. The award was officially in recognition of the extraordinary services he has rendered by the discovery of the remarkable race subsequently named after him. Ronjin donated the monetary reward from his Nobel Prize to his university. Ronjan refused to take out patents related to his discovery of X-rays as he wanted society as a whole to benefit from practical applications of the phenomena. Ronjan died at Munich on February 10, 1923, 
from carcinoma of the intestine.